Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Peace. Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for coming to my channel. Um, I just want to say thank you for the 300 subscribers. I can't believe we did it. Um, yeah, 2020 was quite the crazy year. Um, it all kind of started with, uh, you know, the whole pandemic and all that, but I did this song called Daybreak and I got a shout out from orchestral tools and that was pretty insane through that I started like hey I should continue making more of these walkthrough videos or screencasts and uh, yeah so I'm here today because of that all that jazz oh my microphone is too big <laughs> uh, so there's a couple tests uh, as well as the thank you video um, I'm using my new Spire Pro which I can show you right here Yes, sound is coming from this sucker. Um, um, and the Insta360 Go 2, which is right here. Um, so I just got that too for, you know, for this and to make more of a lifestyle vloggy thingy, but just to kind of say thank you. So, so thank you. Um, thank you for the 300. You know, I asked in one of my previous questions if there's any questions and my brother of all people was like what's your favorite food and I was like I have no idea so my existential question of this today was what is my favorite food probably a triple chocolate cake is pretty high out there uh, from Marigold's it is three three ty different types of chocolate mousse uh, white chocolate a milk chocolate and dark chocolate in a really soft cake with a with a mirror glaze over it and it is it slaps it is so good so there's my there's my favorite food I guess for my 300 I kind of wanted to make a new channel video which is what this is but with that I wanted to also just kind of tell you a little bit about myself since I guess I don't really have that anywhere so I uh, grew up through music I was in the church choir I learned piano as a kid parents made me of course I uh, took trumpet in middle school and in high school a little bit took piano professor private lessons in high school for a year but in between that I met my best friend in seventh grade junior high and uh, we kind of became friends for our love for films and I kind of really just like I was like oh I just like making films but it turns out I really like music too then this low budget animation studio movie came out called How to Train Your Dragon with a you know no name composer called John Powell and uh, <laughs> and it really inspired me to kind of want to do music for films and so I kind of pointed at the movie and I said that that right there is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And so I kind of uh, just did it. <laughs> um, I started with Finale of all places, dragging and clicking music notes, writing compositions. I also had a piano teacher who is Libkey, who really poured her heart and soul into me and you know got me a fake book. If you don't know what a fake book is, it is just a book with melody lines written out and chords on top. So I learned chords really, really well. And so that's kind of become the premise of how I wrote. And I still write based on chords, chord structures. So then I got into sampling, like I said in my last video of my Star Wars video. And my first sample I ever bought was a piano called The Giant from Native Instruments. And now I look back and it's like, oh, that sounds terrible. I actually, it sounds pretty good, actually. Not, not gonna lie, but for what I'm doing now, it's like, oh, I do not like that sound whatsoever. But 
so I found myself being more about the sound and really just craving really, really good sounding samples. And it was more about the sound than the playability for me for the longest time. Um, as, as I grew up as a composer and, you know, you start getting gigs and you're like, oh man, I wanted to do this. You kind of get, you know, you kind of fall in love with trying to do both. Um, anyway, so I got through high school writing, writing garage bands, moved to Final Cut Pro X. Yeah, I just kind of really progressed, just kind of did it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Every day, every day, every day. Just kind of banging my head against the keyboard, writing new pieces, even if they sucked, you know, just kind of wrote a ton. Uh, graduated high school, I uh, went to Kauai, had a little existential crisis, and I kind of really asked God, like, is this what I'm supposed to do for the rest of my life? Like, actually just asking him. And it was like a week later that I got the church's piano and figured out how to plug into my computer, and I sat there for like, it was like six hours, and I just banged out this piece, and it was really, it was a really good piece. I think it was like... It was either Quintessence of a Legend or When the Last Petal Falls, and I kind of banged that out there. And I was like, okay, no, this is this is still what I want to do. This is still what I'm what I'm meant for. This is still what I love. You know, this is still what I get joy from, and I get super excited and obviously super laser focused. So I did that, and then I, you know, I let, I, I just did Kauai for a semester. Then I applied for Berkeley Online School of Music. Berkeley, Massachusetts, and I did that uh, starting that next summer. Got accepted, started working, started writing, and I was, you know, trying to do two years online, trying to be smart, save money. Two years online, two years in person. Turns out when I got to the two-year mark, I found out that uh, they're under the same brand name but different entities altogether. So if I went in person, I'd pretty much start as a sophomore or, or even like halfway through freshman when I was going to be a junior online. So... I decided that that wasn't for me, and I stuck to online, kind of sad. But at the same time, it's okay, you know, life happens. I gotta keep writing. I got a couple short films with my buddy here and there, but just kind of really wrote um, a lot, a lot, a lot. Again, like I was saying earlier, uh, just kind of honing my craft in. And, it, you know, at, at that time, it was more of my, you know, my expensive hobby instead of my, my, my work, right? 2019, I released Planets my first concept album, got a lot of merch, sold a bunch of stuff. It was really fun. I enjoyed that a ton. I'm like, how do I do more of this? Um, and so, you know, end of 2019 and 2020, I applied for Berkeley's uh, Valencia Masters in um, film composing class. I didn't get accepted, but it ended up working out because COVID happened the next year, so I wouldn't have gone anyways. Uh, but I was kind of bummed out about that. Um, and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to be, I want to be intentional with my music. Um, and so I did, you know, I wrote, uh, you know, I did Silent Night at the end of 2019 and did this song called Tidings, January 1st of 2020. And then that was kind of like the start of actually this album called Paths that I am now releasing on uh, 4 Um And it's this collection of music that I did throughout 2020. I have merch available, you know, shout out, of course, if you want to support, support me, totally can, if, no worries if you don't, but uh, yeah, so then, in 2020, I got, you know, I got furloughed from my job, working in audiovisual, audiovisual for a hotel, um, and then, uh, yeah, from there, I just kind of just wrote music, I did that, uh, what, it's called Daybreak, for orchestral tools, their layers thing, and that got like a ton, a ton of views and I was super pumped about it. So I could do to YouTube. Then in the fall, I got my first like actual paying job writing music for a company. And uh, and now I've started my own company called Petrified Scores. So that's pretty crazy. So that's kind of my musical journey and you know, a lot of, you know, purchasing sample libraries and I follow a lot of like big names like, you know, Daniel James or block us uh, for media. We just kind of like learned a lot about, you know, music through these people. And, and I just kind of want to be somebody that, that I could have learned from as a kid, you know, as, as growing up in music. So yeah, that's my story. Um, thanks again for 300. It's uh, ridiculous that we've made it this far and that 2020 was the year that I would, I would grow, you know, 
during this pandemic. So I appreciate you all. Appreciate um, checking my channel out. And just uh, thanks so much for uh, watching. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.